Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Jenny here. Um, so I got this hostel bed to myself all over again, and I slept so much last night. Okay, not so much from like 1 to 8, but I feel a little bit better. And I really need a coffee, so I'm going to go try to find some coffee, and then actually I'm going to the dentist to get my stitches taken out. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. That place is like turning into my second home, but fast, easy, fantastic. Now I get to see my real home, my real bed. Got my coffee in a bag, and now I get to head home. Woohoo! that address but don't send anything to it because I'm going away in like a month and it wouldn't get here but um yeah let's put some time yes oh ooh milk duds but I think they got a little bit wet okay Jolly Ranchers some new. I love this stuff. Okay. This is Thieves Oil because I was having so many problems with my teeth. So this is gonna help with my teeth. Candy. Some bath and body. Some more candy. This is my origami owl locket, which I will show you later. Yes. I forgot this at home. I forgot it at home, so she sent it to me. It's my Lush 9 to 5. Basically, it's removes your makeup without um without water and then just uh loads of candy oh wait what's in here oh yeah my sunglasses because i lost my cool one so and i couldn't find any good ones here thanks mom <laughs> all right so a word of advice, if you're going to send candy, don't send starbursts. They melt, and then they go everywhere. And I know it's my fault, because I specifically requested starbursts. So, it's not my mom's fault, but still, that sucks. Okay, um, so I wanted to show you the origami owl stuff that she sent me. Now, if you don't know what origami owl is, it's like a jewelry line, and it's called, like, living lockets so basically it's like a charm bracelet but instead of being a bracelet it's a locket and so you can get these cool little um 
charms to put inside. And I already had the charms. Like this one, these are for um, St. Patrick's Day. So I make a little St. Patrick's Day locket. And I had some from Valentine's Day last year. Aren't they cute? They're all like hand painted. And that's the back, but there's the front. Like, look at that little strawberry. It's so cute. Anyway, I had brought the charms with me, but I forgot the actual locket, so I had no way to wear it, but my mom sent me a locket. So I made this one right now, and it's just my little island locket. So you see there's sunglasses and a snorkel, flip-flops and sunshine. Um, it hasn't been super sunny here in Copenhagen, but still, it's an island, and these are the things that are islandy. And so really excited, now I can finally wear it. I love Origami Owl for when I travel because like I have just this one locket here and in this locket I can put tons of different things inside. So it's like having one necklace but I could have like a million different necklaces and basically just have a bunch of these little packages I make up of lockets and they're so small and they travel so well. Um, they do also have other things if you don't like lockets so this is a core bracelet and like that's serendipity Let's see if I can show you there's three there's three different ones on here so this one is serendipity and then this one is happiness the little crane see it's like a little origami crane stop shaking and then of course the evil eye to protect me everywhere I go and so this it just makes so much sense for traveling to have so many options in such a small space so thank you mom I'm very excited that now I get to wear them and there's a website of course so I will link that below you can check it out and you can make your own living locket and tell your own story whatever it might be um, I know my mom's super excited because this year they have the uh, baseball team logos whatever doesn't excite me, but she's super excited about it, and maybe you are too. And if you are, you can check it out. <laughs>visa run and everything was fine but of course like I woke up this morning and my Facebook has just been blowing up with what's been going on in Paris and it's just there are there's no words it's absolutely insane I'm I feel so blessed to know that my friends there they're safe and I've been able to contact them and find out that they're okay but there's just there's so many people out there who didn't get that you know they're trying to find out if if their friends and family are safe and they're not and um, it's just it's really it's it's heartbreaking and I know that it's not only happening in Paris but it's happening all over the world and that hundreds of people are dying every day from terrorism but um, I've decided to start a new initiative and every month I'm going to pick a different charity or cause to work with and donate 10% of whatever I earn um, from my online jobs and Global Love Fund to that charity. And um, this month for November, it's going to be the French Red Cross. Um, just because of what's happened recently, um, I've decided to choose them. And I hope that it helps not, not only for this event, but in the future if there's ever any issues. Um, I've always been taught that even if you don't have a lot, it's not how much you give, but how much you care. And so I encourage all of you to um, find charities of your own and go ahead and give, even if it's just 10% of what you make, like give up a few coffees or whatever and just go out there and give what you can. And um, again, my deepest um, condolences to the families who are going through this right now and people who are st stuck in in Paris and they're scared and the people who are st who can't get into Paris because of the closed borders it's just it's absolute chaos and I hope that you all find your families really soon officially in Malaysia it was hard yeah, yeah. It was easy <laughs> okay
So officially what we're doing, thank you for telling me, is we're going here, signing out, walking down over there into Malaysia, and then signing back and signing back in to Thailand and then I'm going home. <laughs>